Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been working through the Giga Display Shield Guide and I was working on the LVGL section. And here, this is to display an image and they introduced this online image converter from LVGL.io. So it's the official tool. And I wanted to make my own <laughs> image for the sketch, but you can see I got some compilation errors trying to make a Shotoku Tech logo. So I worked to remove it and I replaced it with the original Arduino logo. And guess what? Even after putting everything back to rights, you can see here, I'm pointing to the Arduino logo in the sketch and the Arduino logo is the only include file, but you still get the compilation error from the wrong image. So what's the catch? There has to be a catch. Yeah, see here, I saved it as image two and compiled it, and it compiles successfully. But if I compile it in the original folder where I originally tried the Shotoku Tech image, it doesn't work. So I started searching, and apparently Arduino IDE version 2 does have a catch. Now, they advise that you can run this command. Basically, you use the DOS prompt, change directory to the Arduino IDE folder, and run Arduino IDE clean. Eh, it's still was problematic for me. I recreated the problem, put the Shotoku Tech image file in with the sketch and compiled it again because, well, I already fixed it once. So now I have to break it again so I can make the video for you. All right, so you can see I've compiled and the Shotoku Tech image isn't happy when, when compiling. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the old Arduino image in and take the Shotoku Tech image out and I'll change the references to the include file back from Shotoku Tech to Arduino and you can see it's the correct include file in the folder and the correct include file in the IDE. I actually go to the trouble of opening a new sketch and then reopening this sketch so that we're not carrying over anything in the actual session itself. There we go. So I've got a blank sketch. And I go back and close the original one that contained the error. So I've essentially gotten rid of the session, but there's still a catch. There's a, still a catch somewhere. Watch this. So I'll open reason. I'll open the image sketch again. We're doing a little cropping and compressing because, you know, it's a little slow opening the Arduino IDE. I think the, the catch does introduce some time-saving, speeding things up a bit. So I'm compiling the sketch again. This is after confirming the correct include files in the folder. Yeah. Yeah, you, there's definitely a catch somewhere. <laughs> we we want to figure this out. So I, I tried running the Arduino IDE clean command by itself. We'll go through that in a second here. And it still was catched. <laughs> so I, I was ready actually to throw in the towel and just go on and work around this and make my video. But th this intrigued me so much. I wanted to knuckle down and figure it out. Yeah, I'm going to close this. I don't have any instance of Arduino IDE. We know we have the correct files in the folder. Let's drill down into the file system. Yeah, it's C, users, your username, your profile name, app data, local, temp. Now, trust me, any temp folder, you should be able to drill down into it and just delete whatever it will, it will allow you to delete. So I'm just going to select all. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete. These window, these files are in use by Windows, so you can just skip past them. That actually hangs up, so I go ahead and close it. <laughs> Battle of the computers here. Okay, now we're going to find the Arduino IDE folder path, and that's down here under App Data Local Programs, Arduino IDE. I'm going to go ahead and copy that path from Explorer. We're going to open a command prompt, and I'm going to push D. You can CD, or you can push D. I like push D because you can pop D back to where you were. So we're in that path. C, 
users, username, app data, local programs, Arduino IDE. And now you have to use quotes around Arduino IDE because it's got a space in the name. We're going to execute Arduino IDE with two dashes and clean. Just like that, you see there? It's cool. You get all this debug information <laughs> from the Arduino IDE in that command prompt. I keep switching back and it keeps flipping back to the Arduino IDE. And so you get to watch all this weird debugging stuff go by. Let's see, the ID's almost ready to open there. Okay, so this is the original image sketch, the one that would not compile correctly. It was still latched onto the old file. I'll have those file paths in the description down below. We're going to go ahead and crop out the compiling segment here. Yeah, hey, there we go. It compiled successfully. It recognized that we have the correct include file. Yeah, so like I say, we're going to look back there and we went into app data local under our profile and deleted all the temp files. There's some temp files back there from the Arduino IDE. When I originally deleted that folder, there was a bunch of Arduino. It says unsaved sketch, unsaved sketch, etc. There's a bunch of Arduino folders under that. And that's the path for your Arduino IDE for you to execute the clean command. There's all the cool debug information. All right, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of Shotoku Tech's Arduino videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.